welcome friends so in this basic tutorial of solidworks we are going to create this part so how to make this it is a pressure wall and how to make this one so we are going to create this so let's say first of all describe the part so it has a circular base then a hole between that there are six flanges and then there is connection between all them so how to make this so going for new part first of all doing for a sketch selecting the top view and we have to make a circle let's say the radius of the circle is 100 mm and done then you have to extrude this circle so for that we are going for features extrude base and let's say it's 10 mm thickness click on the so it's so we have made the circle the base part of the pressure plate now we want as you can see this uh, part which are connecting these six flanges so we have to make that one so first we need to define and go for extrude base and then you can select the top face and then you can make a circle on here and let's say it's radius is 50 now you can see here it has some thickness so what you can do you can offset entities like as you can see here let's say it's 5 mm and let's say it's inside this one not you click on the re click on the reverse is going to inside the circle which you made if you don't click on the reverse it is the outside so let's say it's reverse and then click on this one so you have made this now click on the exit so you can extrude this one and let's say it's 10 mm and click on the right so you have made this So now what we have, we have made this one, as you can see. So let's uh, make the fillet first. So go for going for fillet option. So we want fillet on this surface, on this edge, this edge, this edge, and let's say this edge. The radius should be two mm. And so we have made up to a half of the part so now what we can do as you can see there's a hole here we can made it so again uh, going for let exit this so we have to make this is as extruded cut so select the surface and then make a circle and let's say the radius of this is 15 now what we can do go for exit here through all so the circle has been made the center of the disc Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six fillets. There are six fillets. So how can you make that? So first of all, you have to go for a top view. So now what you can do, going for a sketch, here you have to select the center line, select the center of the circle.
and then we have to reach to the center of this circle which is at 50 now here you can make the circle let's say its radius is 15 and you can you have to give offset also so click on click on this one think for offset entities here again reverse or you can go for outer one depending what you have selected and then click on that one and click on exit we have made this circle now you can go for extrude base and give the the thickness or the length of it let's say 20 or you can go for 40 and then so as you can see here we have done this circular part going for isometric view now there is hollow hollow part here so how can you do that so for make that hollow part what you can do to go for extrude cut select this bottom part of the of the disk and then you have to make a circle but as you can't see so go for this one and it's a center point making the circle which is 15 mm define it go for exit and go for through all and then right click so if you go for this frame you can see you have cut this part in this way and now you have to give this fillet option here so again going for wireframe And then going for the fillet option we are going to give the fillet to this one this part and this base part and to these edges giving 2 mm radius so you have done going for the view so you made this part like this as you can see here now and then first see temporary I click on the temporary axis so as you can see there are two axes so we are going to consider this axis as our reference and we are going to use an array and make like a pattern so go for line pattern here and click on the circular pattern so we have to make a circular pattern so as you can see here equal spacing 360 degree so first you will select the axis so we are going to make this axis and as you can see there are six part as I made it previously so it's already have taken these six things if you go for five it will make five you have to go for this one you have to select like uh, this extruded part this fillet this extrude this one so we want these three things like this whole part so you have selected features and faces and then if you click on this one it will make these five parts so as you can see you have made with the five parts but they are at equal spacing and in this way you can make 
this thing so, so in this way you can make this part so i hope this video will be helpful to you so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and have fun till then see ya